Hello, internets. Duke of the Bump here, and this is the Mining of Isaac Wrath of the Lamb expansion. And uh, welcome to the chat room. Evil Zop, Kostya, and Roy Symphonia. Glad you guys can make it. Let me just type something into the chat room here to uh, so I can sync it up later. I'm not in a creative mood today, so I will just type Wrath of the Lamb. And welcome to the chat room, Enhanced Wizard. I don't think I've seen you before. Glad you can make it. And I've streamed The Binding of Isaac many times before. It's one of my favorite games. Probably my favorite game of 2011. And uh, I'm still trying to get my, uh, my audio settings exactly right with my new microphone and everything. So if everything, hopefully everything sounds good. If not, let me know. And I typed Wrath of the Lamb instead of Lamb. I left the B off. My keyboard died. Well, the space bar on my keyboard died. So I had to switch to this crappy backup keyboard I have. It's basically like a laptop keyboard, but in a regular keyboard, like housing. Alright, uh, this is the first time I've played Binding of Isaac, uh, Wrath of the Lamb. And uh, we will discover what's new about the game together. Uh, the first new thing that we see is a new character that we can unlock, Samson. Uh, we have to pass on two treasure rooms and kill Mom in order to unlock him. So uh, I don't think we'll go for that in this playthrough. Uh, this is just going to be a... Uh, just, you know, first impressions of the DLC. Can everyone in the chat room hear me? No one said anything yet. Is this thing on? Hello? Okay, excellent. Alright, uh, they added a random button for characters, which is pretty cool. Uh, but for this, for the purposes of this playthrough, I'm just going to go with my old standby, Kane. Now, I wasn't exactly sure how the DLC in this game worked in terms of how it, uh... Oh, we have a new music track right off the bat. And notice that this is not the basement, this is the cellar. A totally new area of the game. Uh, welcome to the chat room, Cody Farf. Glad you can make it. So yeah, I wasn't exactly sure how the uh, how the expansion worked with the uh, with the old content. I wasn't sure if it was like a completely separate thing that you had to, to play, or if it just combines everything with the uh, the already existing Binding of Isaac content. Uh, welcome to the chat room, Mr. Motinjo. Or Motin Motinho. Glad you can make it. Uh, but yeah, it appears to just mix in all of the content from the Binding of Isaac with the new uh, the new DLC. And this is a new item. Dead Dove. Wow. Uh, well, it looks like it gave me the ghostly tears that you get from the Ouija board. At least uh, it's the color is the same. And my range appears to have been decreased a little bit. Uh, I don't know. Maybe not. Oops. No, I do not want you to die. I wish they fixed that in the DLC. When you hit escape on the escape menu, it should take you back to the game, not exit the game. Oh, and I'm also able to pass through obstacles, which is really cool. Wow. This is like three awesome or two awesome abilities in one. So not only can I pass through obstacles, but my tears can as well, which of course makes the poop harder to hit. And already right off the bat here, I think this is going to be uh, a pretty good game for me. Oh my god, you get a flying item right at the start, Kotcha says. Yes, I am I am an extremely lucky boy. Uh, oops. I probably shouldn't have opened that, but oh well. Well, I guess I could buy a bomb. And then I can use it to, uh... Well, I, I don't even need to do that since I can just go right through obstacles. And another new enemy type here. Some kind of jumping spider thing. Wow, I shouldn't have bought that bomb when there are two bombs right here. Oh well. So I've been on vacation recently. As anyone following the, uh the Twitter or the uh, or the Facebook would know. Whoa. That is a new icon in this room. And a new icon on the map. Well, 
Uh, let's see what it is. Probably a new... Oh, I was expecting a new kind of mini boss, but apparently not. I'm not sure what the purpose of this room is, if there is one. Uh, well, let's check for secret passages while I'm here. That looks like a good candidate. Nope. Uh, let's see. Yes, I've been on vacation recently for the past week or so, which is why there haven't been any new streams in a while. But I thought I would make an exception to, uh, to see what the new content is all about. Kind of surprised that neither of those were the, the secret room. Uh, well, let's try here. Oh, excellent. Good thing, too, because that was my last bomb. Another new item. And a new kind of fire? I wonder if that's just a cosmetic change or if there's actually something different about it. Spider. Oh, wait, no, that's not a new item. I've gotten this before. Just once, though. Maybe you're supposed to step on those spikes. Well, even if that's what I was supposed to do, I can't do that now anyway since I'm flying. Yeah, the spider's old, but I've only gotten it once before, so it's new to me, relatively. Alright, uh, well, I guess I'm done here. Let's uh, head to the boss. And it's a new boss. His name is Pin. It looks kind of like Skolex. New boss music, too. Yeah, this is my first time playing the DLC, so all of this is completely new to me, and probably new to most of you as well, since the expansion just came out today. And this guy is relatively tough for uh, an early boss. His uh, pattern as to where he pops up is somewhat difficult to predict, and he doesn't really telegraph it at all. So you just gotta get lucky and hope he doesn't pop up wherever you're standing. And took him out. Excellent. Uh, welcome to the chat room, Sore Thumb. Glad you could make it. I saw you were playing this a little bit ago. What'd you think? Holy shit, Kostya says, so much new content. Yeah. Uh, according to what the developer said, there's like 50% the content, uh, that was in Binding of Isaac is brand new. So, uh, it seems to be, uh, I mean, it seems like we've gotten quite a bit of the new content right off the bat here. Hopefully it, it doesn't, like, like, I want it to be random with all the old content as well. I don't want it to, uh, to give me nothing but new stuff. But I have, I've been getting some old stuff. Like, I got the, uh, the spider, and that's an old item. So hopefully, uh, it's a pretty good mix of new and old here. Alright, uh, well, done with this level, I suppose. Uh, let me go back to this room real quick just to see if there's anything else I can figure out how to do here. Like, let me actually hover over the spikes and see what happens, since I don't think I did that. Wow, it still hurt me even though I'm floating. And that's odd. Alright, well, uh, I guess that's it for this level then. Now up at the top it still says the basement too, even though the level that we were just in was called the cellar. Hmm, I'm not really sure how the cellar factors into things. If it's like a new area, or if the cellar is just like the, what, what he's calling basement 1 in the expansion. Yeah, the spice uh, that I hit did a whole heart of damage too. That's kind of shitty. And good old flies, we remember these guys. Just a heads up, I've been pretty lucky. Oh, that's a new kind of fly. And he's dead. Just a heads up, I've been pretty lucky in most of my Binding of Ice extremes recently. Um, and I've I've been pretty successful. Oh, welcome to the chat room, Monkey Man 8. But since this, this is my first time playing the new content, I'm not expecting to actually win. Um, and I probably won't win for a while, since there are a lot of new enemies with patterns that I have to learn. And, uh, new items that I have to figure out how to use. So, yeah. If you're used to me kicking this game's ass, uh, don't get your hopes up, is all I'll say. Oh, telepills. And it took me right to this room. Which is identical to the old room. Still don't know if there's a point to this room. Sore Thumb says, look out for Ipecac. 
It's awesome, but it's also horrible. They were talking about some levels being special at random, so maybe the cellar is a random level that replaces the old one. Yeah, that's possible. And in fact, that'd be a good way to uh, to try to mix in a lot of new content without uh, without shoving the old content into the sidelines. Like if you replace the basement with the cellar, but the cellar is mostly new stuff, then it's a good it's a good way to see the new stuff without you know without having to wait forever to actually unlock those items. And welcome to the chat room, Chaotic Harmony and Three Jack Burton. Glad you can make it. Man, I love having two of the best items in the game right off the bat. I have the Ouija board, which gives me tears that can shoot through obstacles. And I have the Transcendence, which turns me into a floating head that can float over, uh, over bricks and holes. There's an X-Marsh spot, spot block there, but I don't have any bombs yet. So I will have to come back to that. What does the spider web do? Uh, it has a chance of slowing enemies down. When the enemies turn gray, like that guy I just shot, they are slower than normal enemies. But it doesn't always happen. But it's quite a nice item to have when you're fighting bosses. There's now luck up pills. Oh, interesting. And uh, that's a new item, or an item I've never gotten before. Stigmata. Damage plus health. Excellent. And my damage is halfway up now. Pretty good. <gasps> Damn it, no. Stop it. The one downside to Spectral Tears is it makes fires and poop harder to destroy. And we have a whole room full of fire here. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to bother with this. Yeah, screw it. Uh, I only have two pennies, so I won't go to the item shop yet. Probably be better to save my keys at this point. Oh, I do have some good news, by the way. Um, I figured out how to, uh... Basically, I was cutting my streams off at two hours before... Oh, that's a new kind of room. Okay, let's see what this is. Ooh, it's a library. I can either get the Necronomicon or Telepathy for Dummies. Hmm. Well, they are both appealing options. Uh... I like the sound of that. Oh, I can get either one I want. Oh, that's not the Necronomicon, that's the Book of Belial. I'll go with this one. That sounds pretty cool. I have no idea what it could do, but let's check it out. Oh, it's just Monstro. Good old Monstro. Let's see what he's thinking. Uh, let's see. I use the item, but I can't tell if there is an effect. Oh, it probably gives me the uh, the seeking shots that you get when you use the uh, the magician card because uh, Kane's eyes are closed, and that's the uh, that's the cosmetic change that happens when you use the magician card. Weird that it's uh, an activated item though, and not a uh, not a permanent bonus. Jesus Juice, range plus tears up. Uh, welcome to the chat room, NAR password. Ooh. My tears are pretty formidable now. But anyway, to make a long story short, I don't have to cut the stream off at two hours. I figured out a way to, uh, to upload the whole thing to YouTube. So I can play pretty much as long as I feel like without having to worry about stopping the stream and restarting it. Uh, well, let's see if the devil has anything to offer. Well, I can get a familiar for one heart, or I can get, what is that, the mark, I think, for two hearts. Um, what do you recommend, chat room? 
Should I get either of these? I'm thinking no. I'm thinking I like having four hearts. Welcome to the chat room, Ventus Knight. Yeah, I, I honestly don't think it's worth it. Now, I've gotten the Book of Belial before, but I don't remember exactly what it does. And I'm thinking that the effect is probably better than what the uh, Telepathy for Dummies gives me. Because the, uh, the Seeking Shots are pretty cool, but I don't know. I'm not overwhelmed by it. Let's see if anything changes in this room now that I have full hearts. No? Nothing, just a single set of spikes in the middle of the room. That still hurt me even though I'm a floating head. Use it in the fire room, Narn Password says. Okay. Let's see what that does. Well, that didn't do anything. I didn't think. I do think it made my tears stronger, though. But they're still ghostly, so they just pass right through the fire. I got a nickel out of it, though, so. I guess that's better than nothing. Welcome to the chat room, Sipter195. Glad you can make it. It has the same effect as the Babylon item. Yeah, makes sense. Go check out the shop, maybe it has bombs. Yeah, that's a good idea, actually. Nope, no bombs. Just a tarot card, some kind of other picture of Jesus or picture of Mary. And a key. Just Google the spike room. If you have half a heart, a chest appears there. Oh, so it's kind of like a, uh, kind of like, uh, you're sucking, here's, here's some additional help. That's pretty nice. The spice are there so you can hurt yourself. Well, I don't know if getting an item is worth taking myself down a half heart worth of health. Uh, so I think I will just continue. So basically kill yourself for loot. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. And this is apparently the alternate version of the caves, the catacombs. Excellent. We should hopefully see a, a bunch of new stuff here. That's a really cool way of handling it. I'm glad they uh, glad they did it that way. So what the expansion, Ventus Knight says. Uh, the expansion is Wrath of the Lamb, currently available on Steam for $3. Yes, it's brand new, just came out today. And uh, also, Binding of Isaac is on sale currently for $2 which is down from the normal price of five dollars. At least it was the other day, I'm pretty sure it's still on sale. So you can get the original Binding of Isaac and the expansion for only three dollars. Which is, let me tell you, it, it's a steal. Ooh, I don't like the looks of these guys. Luckily I have these holes strategically placed for me to uh, for me to fly over them and pretty much avoid these guys altogether. By the way, I totally didn't mean to use the the, uh, the terminology strategically placed hole, and I apologize if anyone in the chat room knows what that means. And we have a uh, ooh, interesting. Welcome to the chat room, Private Steve. Is there a new character in this expansion? Uh, yeah, there's Samson. You unlock him by- you have to beat the game, and you have to skip two item rooms at some point during the game. And I will do that at some point, just not for this playthrough. Oh my god. I don't like those big green exploding ball things. Alright, my Book of Belial is fully charged now, so let's try it again when there are, uh, when there are actually enemies in the room. Okay, so yeah, that's all it does. I just wanted to make sure there wasn't some other effect. Wow. It's a boil that spits spiders. That's pretty diabolical. 
Welcome to the chat room, straight line. Glad you can make it. I recommend saving the book for bosses. Yeah, I mean, that's the usual plan, but I'm sure I'll recharge it again before I get to the boss room. And here's another new kind of room. It has like a satanic mark symbol on the map. And the door is some hideous spike looking things. A new kind of challenge room, probably. Hey, what's up, perp? Oh. Wow. Um, this looks like a trap. Let's go for it. Hit points up. Oh. Apparently it wasn't a trap. But there's another door leading to some room that's not marked on the map. Whoa. What the hell is going on? Like I have a halo now? That's weird. I guess, I guess that's a cosmetic effect that the Holy Grail does. What? Oh, I bet that I bet it damages you to walk through those doors. That's why. Uh, that's why it has like the spikes on them. Spiky door hurts to exit the room. Wrath of the Lamb good so far? Well, I've only been playing it for uh, like 15 minutes, but so far it looks pretty good. I don't like that halo. It looks like crazy mad scientist hair. I look like Doc Brown or somebody. Tammy's head is just like, it's an item that you can throw at enemies and do some damage. I think I'll hold on to the book, honestly. So I played a lot of games during my vacation so far. Damn. No, uh, no keys. Oh, this is a glitch. If you have an item that makes it, that gives you a floating head, or if you have the pony, you can just walk right through these, uh, these doors. You don't have to, uh, <clears throat> in fact, you can eat, even if I was able to get this and activate the challenge room, uh, I could still just pass right through it since I'm a floating head. But yeah, during my vacation, I played a lot of games that would make excellent string games. Um, I beat VVVVVV. And I got all 20 trinkets, which was a shitload of fun. And I'll probably stream that one of these days. And the, the other day I played through the entire game Limbo, which was also a lot of fun. Really been into the puzzle platforms lately. So both highly recommended games. Anyway, let's get on with it. Use my fancy demon tears. And I'm floating, so I don't even have to worry about the acid now. Which is pretty awesome. Gotta say, pretty happy with my with my items so far. And that looks like a soul heart, but it's a slightly different color. I, I don't know what the difference is between that and a soul heart. Would I stream Torchlight 2 when it's out? Uh, possibly. I don't know if that would actually be uh, be interesting to anybody, but I recently, uh, I recently beat Torchlight 1, which was also a lot of fun. Ooh, this is new. I feel blessed. Excellent. Well, I like you, angel god dude. I like the fact that you don't require me to give up health to get your special items. Alright, kind of bummed that I don't have any keys. That kind of sucks. Means I won't be able to get that fancy chest or the item room for this level. Well, hey, maybe I will get the, uh, maybe I will be able to unlock Samson, not of my own choice, but just because I don't have any fucking keys. I should stream 90s first-person shooter games. Well, I do like me some Doom, and I do like me some Quake. All 
Alright, well, I guess there's nothing else I can do here. Alright, well, doing pretty well so far, I must say. I might have to eat my words about me not being able to beat it on my first try. Of course, now that I've drinked myself, I'm sure I'm doomed. Oh. Like, that weird soul heart I picked up. It, like, gave me an extra heart? Oh. No. I guess it's just, like, a soul heart that just lasts for that, that level, maybe? I don't know. That's weird. If you get the whole white heart, it turns into a heart container, Mr. Motenjo says. I'm sure the expansion will punish you relentlessly, Ventus Knight says. Yeah, I'm sure as well. And uh, I probably shouldn't get cocky. Oh, interesting. When you uh, when you blow up that poop pile, that fly circling around turns into uh, a nasty fly. That's kind of that's kind of interesting. I don't like how these piles of poop has have corn in them. That's kind of gross. I mean, this is already a pretty gross game, but. Corn, I don't know. I haven't decided if I like those guys better or worse than the flies. I mean, they're better because I can just hover over the holes and they can't get to me, but. But their pattern is kind of annoying. Welcome to the chat room, Galen O'Reilly. And uh, this is another new thing, spiderweb on the floors. That slows you down even though even though I'm a floating head. I was planning on doing a great mighty poop reference, but I decided against it. Well, I don't know what that is, but I certainly appreciate your discretion. Alright, see you later, straight line. Good luck on your exam. And I have a key, but I think I will save it for the item room. Rather than use it on the shop. Well, I have a lot of health. So I probably have pretty good chances of getting something from this blood blood machine. Well, they're saying in the chat room that they want me to try to get Simpson. Well, okay. You talked me into it. I will forego the item room on this level. So that if I manage to beat it on this playthrough, then I will unlock Samson. Although I'm probably not even going to use Samson because honestly, Kane is just too awesome. Of course, I don't even know what Samson does yet. Since it doesn't tell you until, until you unlock the... Uh, Unlock the characters. I hate wasting a key and getting greed. Oh well. More money for next time, I suppose. And I got a key back, so no harm done. How did you unlock Kane? Uh, you have to, I think you have to collect 50 cents over the course of a game. And as soon as you get 50 cents in a single playthrough, then, uh, then Kane unlocks. Which isn't really as hard as it sounds, especially if, uh, if you gamble a lot. Because eventually you're going to get a dollar from a slot machine. I mean, that's, that's how I got him. 55 coins, I believe, is the number. Possibly. He was the first character I unlocked, so it was a while ago. What does the book do? Uh, it just gives you uh, extra damage when you use it. Man, I'm getting a lot of slowdown for some reason. Not sure if that's something to do with the expansion or something that's my fault. Oh shit. Aw oh, man. 
you have to kill those the uh, the poop piles actually count as enemies so since I didn't destroy them every enemy respawned it's kind of a bummer I'm not sure if the flies actually hurt you when they're circling the poop or not or if they're dormant until after you destroy the poop. I have a supercomputer compared to the game's recommended spec, so I, I say it's safe to assume it's a game. Yeah, probably. I don't know. I haven't rebooted in a while. Uh, welcome to the chat room, Ultra Kirby 64 Glad you can make it. Yeah, it's Flash, which, you know, usually doesn't give me any problems, but... You never know with Flash. I pretty much had to stop using Firefox because Flash just does not play nicely with the with the newer versions of Firefox. So I switched to Chrome recently, which I, I really I like Chrome a lot, but it is somewhat annoying since I mean there's an equivalent of all the extensions I use in Chrome except for uh, except for one. Oops, why did I hit space? I meant to hit Q. Uh, you know what? I was going to try to get Samson, but I changed my mind. Sorry, I'm very fickle. I want to get as many item, ro item rooms as possible, just to uh, try to get as many, new many of the new items as possible. <sighs> Alright, fine. I didn't want you to die anyway. And I unlocked Rage, whatever that does doesn't seem to have affected my stats at all. Hmm. And I can't... No way to tell what it did. I think Samson has rage. Well, that makes sense. What items do I have? Uh, I have the lucky foot, which you start with. I have the dead dove. I have the spider bite, which makes you slow down enemies when you hit them. Uh, extra health. I think that gave me extra damage. Uh, that gave me... These are all the items I have. I'm not sure what half of them do since they're all new. I think each kill you get gives power. Interesting. Well, I will have to kill some stuff and see if that's accurate. I think I'm going to try my luck with the blood machine now that I have so much health. Also, I have plenty of money now, so. Oh, there was there was just greed in that room. Never mind. All right, I'll risk it. I won't get myself down too low, but I'll at least give it a shot. Boo. Ooh, a dime. That's new. Welcome to the chat room, the GTF. Alright, well, I don't want to get myself down to half a heart, so let's uh, let's continue onward and see if I pick up any more health before I before I put any more hearts into the blood machine. Also, I haven't checked for secret passages yet, which I should do. This looks like a good candidate, actually. Nope. So what do your tears do with all these items? Not sure what you mean. Chaotic Harmony says, I feel like sharing about how Guppy allowed me to best mom before. I didn't know Guppy was an actual thing in the game. Please share. Damn. Oh well. It was worth a shot. We have some more of that weird orange fire here. It probably just does extra damage or something. Welcome to the chat room, Josh. That's what I call Pokesmot 420. Because saying his name makes me uncomfortable. He told me his real name was, I think it was Chris. Ooh. Ooh, God. 
Oh, wow, I don't like these one bit. Jesus. Still getting some major slowdown for some reason. I guess it's just because there's so much shit on the screen. And you usually don't see this much shit on the screen at once. Oh, fuck. Did, did that thing do a full heart of damage? I thought it would be okay since I picked up the soul heart. The web slows down enemies. It doesn't necessarily stick them in place. Alright, well. I was afraid that would happen. Back on the horse. Basement XL. I'm not sure what that means. Is it like an extra large version of the basement or something? That would seem to follow. Haha. Uh -huh. Dumbass walking to the fire. You know, I'm not really sure if I would if I would recommend a new player get both the the Binding of Isaac and the expansion. It seems like it would be a lot of stuff, and it would just kind of be overwhelming to a new player. Infestation. They grow inside. That doesn't sound good. I don't know what this item does. It's a passive ability. It's not an item I, item I can use. Does not seem to have changed my stats at all. Hmm. Whoa! There's two item rooms on this level? And that must be what Basement XL does. Very cool. Brass Knuckles. Tough Love. Tough Love Tooth Shot. Looks like Monstro's Tooth. Oh, I see. Occasionally, instead of a tear, you spit out a tooth, which presumably does more damage or something. Welcome to the chat room, where's Draconis? Glad you can make it. How's Diablo 3? Still boring? Welcome to the chat room, Daza W. Diablo 3 was pissing me off, says Morris. Well, at least pissing you off is... It's better than... Absolute boredom. Which is kind of what I experienced with the game. Apparently wizards are gimped in Diablo 3. I wouldn't know. I was playing a monk during my brief experience with the game. So I still haven't figured out what this infestation infestation item does. I mean, it looks like maybe I had the virus where I deal with damage to enemies by touching them, possibly with some extra effect. I'm not entirely sure. If anybody in the chat room knows, please feel free to offer advice and or explanations. Well, let's see. Should I actually go in here? Well, last time I got a health bonus, which made it worth it. I don't know if it's going to be that every time, though. saying not to do it in the chat room, but I like to throw caution to the wind. Whoa. Oh, I took damage and it made a fly spawn around me. I see. I don't know what the difference with this chest is, if it's just red because it's in this kind of room or what. It probably gives me a fly for every maybe every half a heart that I'm missing up to like maybe up to three or four hearts whatever the maximum is 
Uh, let's see. Yeah, why not? That's worth a bomb. And I got a key out of it. Not bad. Infestation of mayflies. Yeah, it looks like every time I get hit, it causes a new fly to appear. Which is pretty neat. Although, I, I generally don't like the items that require you to get hit before they do anything. Like the, uh, like the virus. Because I'd, ideally, I'd rather not get hit at all. Private Steve says he found out what the Holy Grail does. It looked like it just gave me more health. Oh, and the halo thing. Uh, there's an X-Block in the middle there, but no bombs, unfortunately. Perp says this game looks pretty fun. Yeah, it's awesome. I played it for like almost 50 hours, which is pretty good for a $5 game. Music is a real drag. I, l I like the music. I mean, it's not, it's certainly not cheerful, but, but it's uh, pretty good for what it is. Man, this level is huge. They're not kidding when they say XL. Ooh, nice. Well, I can buy the Holy Grail. Oh, apparently the Holy Grail gives you wings. Much like Red Bull. Well, I'll hold on to my money and if I can get 15 cents, then I'll pick it up. I'd like to get in there, but I'm not sure if one bomb would be enough to do it. Maybe there's something more worthwhile I can use my bomb on. Here we go. I'll use it here. That looks like a good place to bomb. Ah, oh, The blast wasn't big enough. Oh well. Man, Kane is not looking too good. He's green, he's morbidly obese, and he has a really fucked up grill. Is this still level 1? Yeah, this is uh, Basement XL. It's an extra large version of the basement. He's also infested with flies, yeah. Just bad luck all around for poor Kane. Ow. Oh, it probably didn't spawn a heart because I, uh, that didn't actually deal damage to my main hearts. It just, it just took off, uh, a soul heart. There's a whole soul heart worth of damage, though. I think I want to use the devil. Just to be on the safe side. And the tooth seems to do a pretty good bit of extra damage. All right, good deal. Wow, awesome. I like the box. We got another devil card. And I got a liberty cap. Wow, I, I don't know what that does, but it's up in the top left-hand corner of the screen now. There's no key, so apparently there's no way to activate it. Oh, do I have to fight another boss? That's pretty messed up. Okay, Alex Harmony says, I don't know what the top, the top left hand stuff does. Well, I guess we will find out at some point, hopefully. And Famine. Of all the horsemen you could fight, Famine is probably the least of a threat. I mean, he still sucks, but at least he's not death. Or war. I fucking hate war.
Well, uh, let's take this bomb back and hopefully I can find some good stuff in that X block. Or I could look for secret passages. I'm not sure. Well, you have a good chance of getting bombs from X blocks, so that's pretty good. Pretty good use of a bomb. Don't think I'd be able to get those pennies. Okay. Well. Uh. Let's try this one. Nope. Oh well. Welcome to the chat room, McGack. Two. I'm glad you can make it. A lot of people in the chat room tonight. Very cool to see people come out since it was a surprise stream and there wasn't much notice. Alright, well, I guess I'm pretty much done here. A lot of cool stuff I could still collect, but I have no means of collecting it. Chaotic, Chaotic Harmony says, I finally bothered to register on this site is all. Well, I'm glad you did. There's a lot of cool stuff here. Rare card, space to use. Interesting. I will wait for a room with enemies and see what that does. Uh, this is just going to be another one of those help rooms for people low on health. Uh, sure, I'll try it in the challenge room. Ooh, wow, that's a lot of stuff. Alright, I used the prayer card. Oh, it turned one of my hearts into that weird white heart. I think somebody said, uh... Wow, that was pretty good, actually. The flies don't just hover around you, they actually go out and attack stuff. Someone in the chat room said that, uh, if you have a white heart at the end of the level, then it turns into a heart container. But that hasn't happened to me since I only had half of one. So if I find another one, then my overall health will increase, hopefully. Of course if I use my uh if I use my prayer card, then I could potentially have several of those by the end of this level. That would be pretty nice. I, b I bet it recharges really slowly. Because if, if it recharged quickly, that would be kind of broken. I haven't seen these guys in a while. Which I'm not going to complain about. And for all that, I get a key. Yeah, it's going to take six rooms to recharge the prayer card. You know, I was thinking. They really should have released this game on Mother's Day. Instead of Memorial Day. I mean, they're really close to get together. And releasing it on Mother's Day would just be appropriate. That was a lucky bomb. Oh, you don't even have to wait until the end of the level. It just automatically gives you an extra heart container. Wow, that is really awesome. More Dracoon says, hell of an item to get the battery charger with. Yeah, that would be really cool. Hopefully I will find one. Is it just me or is Kane smaller than usual? Uh, you know, now that you mention it, yeah, he is. I'm not sure what item I got that shrunk me. The box, maybe? Like I'm wearing a box now? So they had to compensate by making the sprite smaller? I don't know. Oh, it's a mushroom. Mr. Motenjo says, the, the Liberty Cap. I don't know if that's just something that's always on, or, or if that'll go away, or what. Oh, it gives you a mushroom effect every room. So that would be the uh, the shrink mushroom. Interesting. Alright, well, check out the secret room. Ooh. 
It's like a fortune telling machine or something. Weird. Oh, well, apparently I have uh, a good fortune. Yeah, he grew when I left that room. That's true. So that means sometimes it's going to be the uh, the one-up mushroom. Sometimes it's going to be an extra light or uh, the power-up mushroom. Of course, you never know which one it actually is. Unless it's the uh, the shrink mushroom. Oh, okay. So those white flies do hurt you b before you destroy the poop. Probably good for me to uh, to verify that now. Instead of accidentally doing it when I only have half a heart left. One-up mushroom is the best mushroom. Yeah, it's pretty good. Alright, uh, well, onward. I miss my, my wings. So these things are like a fucked up version of, Le of Larry Jr. That can split off into, uh, into multiple versions of itself. And it's a lot faster than Larry Jr. too. Or a little faster anyway. I hear ice, I want ice. That would be my glass of soda. Whoa! <laughs> Man, the flies went crazy on that one. Jesus. Wow, I have a lot of money. Is that the Bible or the Book of Revelation? I can never tell which is which. Well, either way, I think the prayer card is better. I will pay that up though, because why not? I don't know, if it is the Bible, that would probably be, be worth picking up. Just in case I do make it to Mon. Of course, there might be more- I mean, I know there's more bosses. There might be more bosses after Mon that the Bible does not work on. You never know. That's what's awesome about this game. You're always finding new shit, especially now that the expansion's out. Well, my card is fully charged, so might as well use it. Hopefully I can recharge it again. Soon. See, in this room I have whichever mushroom makes your, your shots fire super fast. Surprised we haven't encountered a new boss yet. Uh, there is a one pin right at right at the beginning. He was new. Oh, get the mouse off the screen. Sorry. Ouija board, nice. I've only gotten the Ouija board like once or twice in the entire time I've played this game. But it's really awesome. One of the more useful items you can get. Well, let's see. I'm done unless I want to go back and get the Bible. Nah, I think I'll hold on to this. It has a potential for awesomeness. New boss, the Hollow. And it's Larry Jr., but he's going fucking crazy. No more 90 degree angles for this guy. Oh shit. In fact, no 90 degree angles at all.
nice new boss music yeah uh, there are like four new tracks in this game I think which is pretty cool all right well I suppose I'm done here I guess it does give you a, a full heart container uh, when you when you only have half because I only had three regular hearts before and now I have four. That's pretty cool. Monstrous tooth. No thanks. I like my prayer card. All right. Spectral tears. Damn it. Uh, I might come back to you if there's nothing worth spending my money on in this level. Ow. The Hierophant. That get, that's the one that gives soul hearts, isn't it? Yeah. Those are... Handy to have, since I'm not doing particularly well on health. Ow, Jesus Christ. Haha, uh -huh, dumbass. Walked into the walked into the spikes. Uh let's see. Oh, did I did I get something that reveals the map? Cause I can see where the boss and the challenge room and stuff is now. I don't know. Huh. That's weird. Oh, it's one of the mushrooms. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, welcome to the chat room, Scared Helmet. I wonder if the map stuff will go away when I leave the room then. Yep, it does. Oh well. It was nice while it lasted. Kill the beggar. Well, that's not very nice. Uh... Yeah, that's worth using a bomb for. I might kill the beggar later, if he's not useful to me. Although, from what I understand, killing beggars apparently makes makes it more likely that when you beat the game, you're going to get the, uh, the exit to shield. Oh, I should use that. So it's probably a good idea to kill beggars regardless. Uh, I think that coupon would probably be a good investment. Huh. Apparently, the, uh, whatever that new kind of heart's called it actually counts as a regular heart because it won't let me enter the challenge room there's a catch with those white hearts you can lose them like normal hell I see is this my first life playing the DLC uh no I died once a little bit ago but yeah th this is my first time playing the DLC hey it's Gish what's up Gish haven't seen you in a while I like how happy Gish looks. He just has this goofy smile on his face. I wish the Spectral Tears could go through these things' skulls. They can go through everything else, but not a skull.
Yeah, it looks like this is just going to be the same thing every time. So no point in even going in there, really. Uh, one room back there that I missed. I might as well go back to it. Unless it's a blood skull. Well, I mean, those things, they're not really skulls. They're just like the uh, the brain. Well, not the brain, but like the flesh underneath the skull almost. Ouch. I should probably get here. That's a good strategic location to fight a ruin them like that. Hey, tears up. Awesome. It's insane how much they added. Yeah. It is really... <clears throat> it's really something else. Aw, I lost my white heart. Oh well. Bribstone is better than all items, says Chaotic Harmony. Mars Dracona says he prefers technology. Yeah, I still haven't gotten the Brimstone. But I have seen it. And it looks pretty awesome. But yeah, technology's pretty nice too. Brimstone is a charged weapon. Yeah, see, if it's anything like the chocolate milk, then I'm probably not going to like it. The Hermit. That takes you... Yeah, that's the item store one. And I've already been there. Oh, I'm out of money. Okay. Alright, well, you have outlived your usefulness to me. Sorry, bro. Well, uh, now that I lost that, uh, the white heart, I can go back and get that challenge room. So I'll do that before I fight the boss. You have become worthless to me. Welcome to die. This is Chaotic Harmony. Now, I still can't go into the challenge room. Oh, I see. It's like, it's different than the normal challenge room. It has a bloody, a bloody sword on the map instead of a normal sword. I probably have to be at, like, half a heart or something in order to go in there. Yeah, no thanks. I didn't notice that at first. The, the, the requirement for the challenge room is that you be at full health. Which is why I assume it has the opposite requirement for the other challenge room. Yeah, a reverse challenge room. Try getting hit just once. That was a full heart of health. Did that change in the DLC? Do all spikes now do a full heart instead of a half a heart? Oh, well, there's another one there I can just pick up anyway. So yeah, even at, uh... Even when I'm injured, it's still not open. So I probably have to be at either one heart or half a heart left before it'll open for me. Yeah, fuck that. Oh, I see. <laughs> I was wondering why uh, I had an extra, an extra heart container in one of these rooms, and it must be one of the mushroom effects. Yep. See, there it is again. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Okay. Well, boss time. Hi, Chad. I'm the devil. Okay, I'm not the devil, but I am harnessing his power. Jesus Christ. Man, that did a huge amount of damage to the boss when he touched me. Did you see that? It was weird. Hey, it's little Chad. Nice to see you. Alright, well, hopefully uh, this will convert to a full heart when I go to the next level again. Pretty sure that's how it works. Yep, I had three and a half hearts, now I have four and a half. Very sweet. And this is the Necropolis, which is presumably the uh, the alternate version of the uh, of the depths. Which 
means this is probably going to be pretty tough. If I was a betting man, I'd put money on this being pretty damn tough. Damn, this guy's fast. Do you hold still? Jesus. Aw, oh, no way to get the bombs. Oh well. Well, I have a map now, so... It looks like I'm heading in the right direction. If I want to get the item room first, which is generally a good idea. Man, it would suck if I just let those things keep spitting out spiders. I wonder if there's a limit to how many they spit out, or if it would just fill the damn room up. Downright the weird horror Babylon room. Oh yeah, I forget what that, I forget what that was. Oh, somebody warned me about this. Should I pick this up or not? Do the webs hurt? No, they just slow you down. What does this stuff do, chat room? Citrus says, wouldn't it be better to use the prayer card at the end of the level to make sure you get a heart? Yeah, I mean, that's one strategy. Or you could try using it multiple times in the level and hopefully get multiple hearts. What is that thing? It's Epicac. Somebody in the chat room warned me about this. Says... They told me not to pick it up. Okay, well, I might as well. Explosive shots. Wow. I see why they warned me about it. It's kind of like the uh, the Dr. Fetus item where every shot is a bomb. Except it's even more difficult to, uh, to control, it looks like. It's basically Dr. Fetus. Yeah, but at least with the bombs, they take a couple seconds to explode, so you can spit one out and and uh, and move away from it before you can hurt yourself with it. On the plus side, I can go around looking for secret rooms with impunity now. I don't think you can have a secret room as an offshoot to an item room, so I won't look there. Wait, can you tell? Can we tell you about you haven't found yet? Sorry, I haven't been to this chat before. I mean, if I ask the chat for help, then yeah. But I mean, you know, I would like to keep spoilers to a minimum. Can I even hurt myself with these? It didn't look like it. Oh, yep, yeah, you can. Oh well. Good to learn that now. Jesus. Man, it's extra nasty when you vomit a tooth. I mean, I assume I could hurt myself with them, but just wanted to make sure. And then we have one of those pain rooms up there. Oh yeah, that's what the horror band one thing was. Well, I'm doing pretty well on health at the moment, so I will check it out. Oh shit. That was not a very good trade off. Oh well. You live, you learn. Damn it. This is a very dangerous room to be in. That explains why it's that symbol, since you hurt yourself to go in. Yeah. <laughs> Shit! Wow. F five flies. That's pretty awesome. I wish I wasn't a half a heart. Oh well, one more room and I can use my, uh, my prayer card again. Alright, well that's better than nothing. 
Not looking good for Duke. Thank for the vote of confidence, Morris. Always appreciate it. Well, I don't know what those enemies do, but I fucked them up before they could do it. I'm liking the Epicac. It's pretty good. Oh lord. Fuck that. Oh, possibly fuck this too. Oh no, okay. These are just the uh, the spike things from Legend of Zelda. They're not the ones that follow you around the room. Alright, let's see if I can do this without killing myself. That's not what I wanted. Damn it. Uh, there's an item store up there, so maybe I can buy some more hearts. Okay, the Harmony says those face things charge at you and the hearts jump and shoot. Well, I'm glad I killed them before they could do it then. Oh yeah. <laughs> Why didn't that door blow up? I don't want to fight you. Shit. Shit. Oh god. I'm leaving. Holy shit. Okay. <sighs> I really wanted that item store though. Well, at this point, it's either try to make my way through that room again, or go fight the boss. There's really not much else I can do at this point. If I didn't panic, I probably would have made it through. Good point, good point. Okay. <sighs> I do have a tendency to panic when there's a lot of shit in the room. Well, I should definitely buy that battery. Ooh, it immediately recharged me too. Nice. Uh, welcome to the chat room, Azeal. Uh, either Azeal 000 or Azeal 1000. Alright, uh, should I bother with this room? I don't know. I would like to. Oh, fuck! I didn't even notice there was a block in front of me. Oh well, at least it was only half heart and not a whole heart. Well, I did lose my white heart though. That sucks. Alright, don't panic, Duke. Oh god. Wow. There's an extra secret room on this level. That's pretty cool. Azeal and three zeros. Okay. <laughs> okay, panic, says Ultra Kirby 64. I tried to go to the room which is the lesser of two evils, but I honestly don't know which one is worse. Fuck. And the Ipecac was my undoing in the end. You're just running about like crazy somehow surviving. No, there is a method to my madness. Okay, well, one more. At least. Possibly more. Yeah, I've only been going for an hour, so... I might as well... Give it another shot. I wonder you guys that I probably wouldn't win. That's kinda how it is with this game. Ah, good old bra. 
always helpful. Now that I play the game for a little bit, I really like how they handle the mixing of the content. I mean, if it was totally random, then it, it wouldn't be as good as it is. Because if it was totally random, you would have less of a chance of getting the new stuff. But instead, they give you a random chance of getting a new room, which, you know, gives you a lot more of the new stuff. Or not a new room, but a new, a new floor, rather. Like the cellar instead of the basement. It's really cool how it's done. And this is a small ass level. I wonder if I should get the Golden God on the original Isaac first before getting Wrath of the Lamb. Well, I know I'm never going to get the, the Golden God achievement, so I went on ahead and picked this up. I'm never going to get the, uh, the get through a floor without taking any damage achievements. That's not something. I'm capable of doing. <sighs> Alright, well, boss time, I suppose. I mean, I could go in that item shop, but I only have three pennies, so what's the point? Welcome to the chat room, Demon Reader. Hi, I'm Duke of the Bump. Welcome to the Duke of Flies. This is one of the bosses I don't really encounter that often. I'm not sure I've even gotten them on stream before. He's not too terribly difficult. Just as long as you don't get panicked by the amount of shit on the screen, which I am prone to do. Uh, welcome to the chat room, Saul Scribe. Glad you can make it. Oh, downward and onward. The Binding of Duke. Curse of the Lost. I wonder what that means. Enhanced Wizards says, By the way, Duke, meant to say, love your LPs and streams. Hard to find chill LPers. Well, thanks, Enhanced Wizard. I appreciate it. Being chill is kind of one of my trademarks. Oh, apparently that message you gave me, all that means is the seller spawn. I don't think I got that message before, though. I don't know, I wasn't paying much attention. I'm chilled unless there's explosives flying. Well, I'm, st I'm still chilled. I'm just not as good at video games as I am normally. When there's explosives flying. Mom's Pearl. Oh, it's another one of those uh, trinket things up in the top left-hand corner. Speaking of being good at video games, has anyone been watching uh, Summer Games Done Quick? The marathon uh, live stream that's been going on? Ultra J Man and Rom Scout have been participating. There have been a few entertaining ones in the marathon. I mean, a, a lot of games that I'm not really interested in. Like right now, I think they're doing Final Fantasy VI, which I honestly don't see why anyone would want to do or want to watch a speedrun of a ro of a role-playing game. I just don't see any entertainment value at all in that. But like, uh, some dude speed ran Mega Man Nine and Mega Man Ten, and that was really entertaining. It makes me sick how good that dude was in Mega Man Ten. And there's been some other good stuff. And they've raised like $40,000 for charity. Which I guess you can't really fault them for that.
I mean, I watched a little bit of Final Fantasy VI speedrun, and it's just so damn boring. I mean, I guess if you were really into Final Fantasy VI, there might be some entertainment value in it, but... Not me. Oh, Ouija board again. Sweet. I should have put out the fires before I picked that up. Speedrun of Super Metroid was kind of crazy. Yeah, I didn't watch that one. I did watch the speedrun of Metroid Fusion, which was really cool. I really like that game. Welcome to the chat room, Sticky Mouse. Yeah, I was watching the speedrun of Metroid Fusion, and like, I've beaten that game before. And still, watching the speedrun, I still had absolutely no idea what, what the dude was doing. Like, what, what he was doing in the speedrun made absolutely no sense to me. It was awesome. Whoa. Apparently the red fires spit blood at you. I did not realize that before. Well, let's see. Do I want to do the challenge room or not? Well, not the challenge room, the pain room. I'm pretty low on health. Would you agree with me that LP RPGs with the grinding with grinding is generally boring? Yeah, that, that's the reason I've never LP or streamed an RPG. Whoa, is this a choice or do I get both of them? I suppose I get both. Oh fuck. Guppy's paw. Uh well, since I've never gotten this one before, I will go with that instead of the bra. Since the whole point of the stream is to discover new shit. You can also get Duppy's t Guppy's tail, apparently. Uh, do I want to go to that last room or go ahead and fight the boss? I might as well go up there. I can test out the paw, see what it does. Wow, it gave me three soul hearts. That is pretty damn awesome. Wait. But it also took one of my hearts away from me. Oh, I see. You can use you can use Guppy's Paw as many times as you want. It doesn't de it doesn't discharge when you use it. But every time you use it, it takes away a heart. Okay, that's pretty shitty. I don't I don't know if I like that at all. Hey, fuck you, fire. Jesus. Damn, I have a lot of soul hearts now. I'm thinking of going back for the bra. Damn it. Of course, if I do go back for the bra, it would mean even more pain. Man, I gotta get a pop filter for this microphone. Those peas are really... plosive. So has anyone noticed anything that anything that the pearl might be doing? I haven't noticed any effect any effect that the pearl has yet. What would happen if you use the paw? Oh, if you use question mark question mark question mark with the paw? I don't know. I haven't gotten that dude yet. Uh, okay. Well, that was worth it. I get back the soul heart that that stupid paw, or I get back the heart that that stupid paw took from me. Oh, they're saying that the pearl randomly petrifies enemies with with your tears. Well, I'm sorry, Ultra Kirby 64. I can't watch the chat room constantly while I play, so I tend to miss things. I apologize. I haven't noticed it, noticed any, any petrification though. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't work on bosses.
Alright, well. Nothing else I can do on this floor, since I don't have a key. I can't go to the item shop. Pretty sure it's a really small chance, Ultra Kirby says. Well, since it's a passive ability, then yeah, that makes sense. Ah, good old fashioned, plain old maggots. Welcome to the chat room, Slashy. Glad you can make it. Sorry for the uh, the lack of commentary. Uh, I don't really have a ton to talk about today, which is one of the reasons I've been taking a little break from streaming, give myself time to uh, time to come up with some stuff to talk about. Welcome to the chat room, Oipsid, O I P S D. I don't know if you're supposed to actually pronounce that, but that is what I tried. That's just another one of these spike rooms. It would be nice once I actually get to one of those when I'm at half a heart so I can actually see what they do. Probably didn't need to use the bra here, but I'm a pretty good ways off from fighting the boss, so why not? Oh, I'm never going to get that chest. Asshole. Yeah, that's a good point. Chaotic Harmony says I might get an accidental Samson unlock since I don't have a key. So I guess even if I can't get the item rooms, then it's building towards something. Potentially. I don't like these. I don't like these spiky door rooms. You never know if it's going to be worth it or not. For example, that was totally not worth it. That wasn't totally worth it either. Can I just bomb my way out of here or do I have to go back through the, the pain door? Okay, that's good. The mulligan, they grow inside. Something else that causes me to generate flies, presumably. The mulligan is the name of those, uh, the gray enemies with the fucked up heads. And then the hive is the one that looks similar to that, but they, uh, they generate flies. My tier slot changed. Oh yeah, it's a fly up there now. I wonder what that means. Oh, it means I randomly shoot flies as well as tears. It's not bad. Well, I have plenty of money, so let's see what's in here. I will take all of this, sir. I'll take that. And I'll take that. And I will take that as well. And if I can get one more cent, I'll come back for the key. I can go. Yes, that's true. I can go back for the chest now. Man, 
and I am all for any items that allow you to float. It is one of the best abilities in the game. Ow. Damn it. And that's not particularly helpful. It's like they planned it or something. Ultra Kirby before says. Oh, that's serendipity. Yes, just as I said, I'd never get the chest. This game loves proving me wrong. Welcome to the chat room, Live Lord. Glad you can make it. Uh, I think I want to go back and buy that key, just in case I don't get a key on the next floor. I'm never lucky with the pills. Yeah, you would, you would think I should be, since I'm keen and everything, but lately, I don't know. Did I get a new mic? Yes, I did. Thank you for noticing. Hopefully the audio quality is at least a little bit better than it was before. I should say I'll never get the best weapon in the game. Yes, I will never get uh, technology. And I'll never get Dr. Fetus either. Not sure if I fought this guy on stream before or not. It's basically asteroids. You want to take out the smaller ones before you take out the bigger ones. And that's all there is to it. Since I'm a floating head, I can hide up in these corners. And these things will have less of a chance of hitting me. I mean, there's still a chance. but I have a little bit of protection from them. Oh, I should use my bra, shouldn't I? Yeah, I haven't noticed my tears paralyzing anything at all. So I'm not sure if that's what the pearl does or not. Tears up. Awesome. I messed it up, Duke. What did I mess up? Yeah, I've, I've fought the mini-boss version of that dude before, but I think that's the first time I've gotten him as a boss. Yeah, I don't know what the pearl does yet. Ultra Kirby 64 says that it occasionally uh, paralyzes enemies, but I haven't really seen it yet. Oh yeah, everyone says the uh, slipping my mind. But everyone says it's the best weapon in the game, but I haven't gotten it yet, so I will wait and see you before I make that call. The doctor's remote just uh, well here. I'll show it off real quick. It's really not that useful. It creates a target. And you can move it around the screen and then it drops a bomb on them. Which, I don't know. It's okay if you don't have any other items, but I'm not too fond of it. Digging these new tracks so far. You can get the soundtrack for Bonnie of Isaac on Steam for 99 cents. I wonder if they actually updated the soundtrack to include the new tracks or or if you have to like re-download it. Or if or if they're in there at all. Blow 
blow up the beggar for a possible key if, I, if you don't find one. Well, I found two, so I'm in pretty good shape. Wow, I don't like these things one bit. I think I want to use my bra. The bra is really one of the uh, one of the most underrated items in the game. I mean, it freezes everything on the screen for a pretty significant amount of time. Uh, I have plenty of bombs. I should probably start looking for secret rooms. Those flies have giant ball sacks. Well, that's an interesting way of looking at things. Wow, three pennies. So worth it, man. Man, I have like a ton of flies circling around me now. And I'm not really sure why. I mean, I assume it has something to do with that mulligan thing, but like, they're not always there. They only show up every now and then. Like, now I only have one. They've added a lot of spider-related stuff to this game, I noticed. Since you're shooting, they circle you. They also suicide ram enemies. Well, yeah, but I wonder why, like, what causes them to show up? Like, why are they there sometimes, but not other times? I guess it's just random. I guess, uh... You shoot out a fly just randomly every now and then, and if it doesn't, if it doesn't kill itself, then it circles you. Huh, weird. Yes, brimstone. That's the word that was slipping my mind earlier. Everyone says that's the best weapon in the game. But it's a charge weapon, so I'd have to actually try it out before I could form an opinion on it. I'm not too fond of charged weapons, generally. Well, I'm not fond of the chocolate mill, which is the only the only charged weapon I have. Oh fuck! <sighs> oh well, at least I don't have to destroy the the poop again. Just the enemies that respawn. That looks like a new pill. Well, it's a new, it's a new pill design anyway. I, I don't know if it'll be a new effect. Nope, just stupid bad gas. Duke, you can use chocolate milk normally by tapping the button. Yeah, but I don't want to have to tap the button. That's the thing. Oh yeah. I forgot I can just float right through there. Too bad, Monstro. We'll have to fight another day. I'm not lazy, I'm efficient. Uh, there are some hearts over there to the left I can pick up, so I'll give it a shot. Wow. I am a cat. So, somebody said something about that gives you like nine lives or something. I guess we'll see what it does. Uh, sorry, beggar. 
I have no use for you at the moment. Speed up? Nice. Well, I have seven, har seven coins, so I might as well see what's in the item shop. I can't afford the coupon. I'll go ahead and pick up the soul heart, though. Did my stats change? Uh, not from the uh, not from the tail thing. Man, I got in pestilence like every single playthrough attempt. That's weird. Wow, I totally pwned that dude. <laughs> Scared Helmet says it gives you more YouTube views. Yeah, that's true. Everyone will watch a YouTube video if it has a cat in it. Oh, speaking of YouTube views. Lately they've been, uh, on YouTube, they've been purging a lot of users with inactive accounts. So everyone's, like, losing subscribers at a massive rate. And I thought I would lose way more subscribers than I have. Oh shit. But, uh, I've only lost a couple hundred or so. So right now I have just below 2,000 YouTube subscribers. So yeah, if any of you aren't following me on YouTube, I would appreciate the help. Give me back over the 2,000 mark. Not that it actually means anything, but the numbers, they must go up. Looks like cat makes your passive go off more. Well, that would be the... Well, oh, I guess you mean the, uh... The flies. Yeah, that's true. I am generating quite a few flies now that I'm a cat. I don't know if that's correlation or causation, though. Wow, I finally have the parasite. That's an achievement that, like, everyone on my Steam friend list has. Has had for, like, the longest time. And... I haven't gotten it in like the 40 some hours I've been playing. Whoa. Why do I only have one heart? Why do I only have one heart? I don't like that at all. What happened? Nine lives, I got guppy. You get nine lives but lose all your hearts. Under rare circumstances it'll help, but in general it's the worst item. So that means if I die I'm resurrected, but I only have one heart? Oh. Uh. Well, that's unfortunate. Does it actually say how many lives I have? I guess not. That's kind of a bummer. If you die, you're sent back outside the room, so everything respawns. Duke took that item, item like a fool. Hey, fuck you! I didn't know what it did. Well, I guess I'll have to make the most of a bad situation. Oof. Man, I really don't know if I want that. Not with one heart. I think I'll skip it. I 
I don't like these mass things. They're like the knights, but they charge at you. Well, actually, I guess they're not like the knights. Oh, I see. They're they're like the uh, the faces that uh, that deactivate once you kill every everything in the room. But it, instead of standing still and spitting blood at you, they charge at you. Uh, welcome to the chat room, Eremos. Glad you can make it. Well, let's see. Because it doesn't really matter which way I go. Ha uh ha, -huh. I can just totally avoid these things. I can just float right through the middle of the room. Nothing useful this way though. Push pin. Well, I can replace my pearl to pick up the push pin, but I don't know what either of them do. Well, let's take the push pin, since I haven't really seen seen any effect from the pearl yet. Yay, money! Yeah, like they're saying in the chat room, the pearl's been a bust. Wow, that's a lot of shit. Welcome, Paradox Hero. Glad you can make it. Oh shit. Don't get the push pin, it's useless with the items you have. It occasionally turns your tier spectral. Yeah, and I have the Ouija board, so that wouldn't help me. But then again, the pearl hasn't done any anything either. Man, it's like these heart and hearts and masks only spawn in the same room together. At least that seems to be the case so far. It's like each mask is like tied to one of the uh, one of the hearts. Like you kill you kill a heart and it takes out one of the masks as well. Uh, welcome to the chat room, Razy1391. I'm late, what kind of power-ups do you have? Well, I have the nine lives, unfortunately. I have the, uh, the Holy Grail, which lets me fly. I have something that spawns flies to help me. I have, uh, shit. I have a floating Meat Boy head, as you can see. Mostly good stuff so far, except for the nine lives. Now, after you get the nine lives, can you still find health power-ups? Like, can I get a, uh, a lunch or a dinner or something and increase my health? Or is that just no longer an option? Because if I can increase my health, then having the nine lives would actually be pretty useful. I mean, if you can get if you can get the nine lives early in the game, then I can see a, a case for picking it up. Oh, they say yes, but if you die, you're reset back to one heart. Oh, that's a bummer. So, has anyone else in the chat room actually played this yet? I know Sore Thumb is playing it now, I think. I mean, so far, I would definitely say it's worth the $3. Pick it up. 
you get the one up, it will take priority over the guppy. Well, that's nice to know. I goy the mining of Isaac resently. Nice sentence. Man, I am fucking these guys up! Look at that shit! And I have a full-fledged meat boy now. Now remember, I got totally fucked one time when he turned into Super Meat Boy, and I didn't realize he can push bombs into you. Sorry, writing in the dark. I'm just giving you shit, Reezy. Ooh. I would say that is worth giving up the bra. Especially since I can use it immediately and get another heart when I go down. Keep the bra, it's an insane combo. It is a pretty good combo, but um, but since I'm so low on hearts, I would rather have the prayer heart at this point. Things are looking up, Ultra Kirby says. Yes, indeed. Ooh. The peeper. Oh, it's like, uh, it's, it's like the eye that floats around the room when you kill Peep. It doesn't hurt me, does it? No. Excellent. I am all for that item, then. Uh, let's see. At least it's just the depths and not the catacombs. So, this should be relatively easy compared to what I've dealt with so far. God, look at all these flies I'm spawning. Jesus, this is insane. Wow. What does the eye do? Well, I, I assume it damages enemies. I don't see any other reason for it to exist. Ow. Damn it. I've been doing so well, too. Yeah, I should have taken a screenshot when I had all those flies up. Oh well. Quickly farm your flies up. I don't know how to actually do that. Oh, I see. See, now that I have the bloody tears, you can actually see that every so often it's a spectral tear. But all of my tears are spectral since I have the Ouija board, so yeah, it doesn't do anything. Oh well. Ow. Man, I have a lot of cash. Hopefully I find an item store soon. Bye guys. Sorry I couldn't play. Did I, did I tell anyone about the shears yet? Oh, did anyone tell me about the shears yet? No. I assume that's another item that I haven't gotten yet. Uh... Oh, it's a fortune telling machine instead of the slot machine. Let's see if it does anything different this time. Give up. No. <laughs> it spawned a broken slot machine. Speed and shot speed up. Welcome to the chat room, Lord Tamar. You will die alone. <laughs> I like this thing. You are worshipping a sun god. <laughs> This is much more entertaining than a regular slot machine. What is that? Goat hoof. Well, whatever it does, it replaces the pin. And the pin is of no use to me at the moment. Shit, stop picking that up. Oh, I didn't see what my fortune was. 
don't leave the house today. Sweet. I got the poop hat. Stay asleep. Too late. I am throwing my life away. Wow. Thanks, game. I love you too. Ooh. Well, I have no idea what either the goat hoof or the ace of spades do. But I think I'll hold on to the rest of my money just in case there's an item shot. There's no information about the goat hoof. Well, that makes sense since the expansion just came out today. I mean, I'm sure there's stuff that nobody's found yet. Alright, uh, yeah, I'll save the rest of my money for the shop. Wait, did I actually go into the challenge room? I did, didn't I? It wasn't showing up as, as, uh, having gone into it on the map for some reason. That's odd. There were still hearts on the map that you could use to get money. Yeah, but I'm not going to risk it with my health as low as it is. I mean, really, the only reason to use the blood machine is uh, is to try to get a blood bag. I mean, I'm not going to bother, uh, you know, pumping hearts on it just to get money out of it. I mean, I already have enough money to buy anything in the item shop anyway, so I'm not too worried about it. Ooh. Well, I can either get the Book of Belial or Mr. Mega. Actually, Mr. Mega is just a passive ability, so I can just go ahead and pick that up. Pretty sweet. Well, I have plenty of bombs to go around looking for secrets now. Oh, I'm out of keys though. Damn. Oh well, I'm sure I'll find one around here somewhere. Brandon Skyblade, welcome to the chat room. Glad you can make it. There we go. Ooh, it's another fortune telling machine. Uh Yeah, I'll I'll spend money until I get uh go outside. No. Screw you. We will all die one day. That's not particularly insightful. But you just told me to go outside. Now you tell me not to leave the house today? umbilical cord. Apparently the fortune machine gives out a lot of trinkets because I've gotten like three I can choose from. Go get the goat hoof. Well, what does it do? Because as, as it is I have no idea what any of these trinkets do. I mean the ace of spades might be awesome for all I know. Wow, another trinket, pinky eye. So many choices. Umbilical cord, when hit, it summons little Steve. Well, that might be useful. I hate these things. With a passion. Probably my least favorite enemy in the game. Oh, apparently the goat hoof... Oh, the ace give you a soul heart when you're at half a health. 
Well, that's pretty good. Whoa, who are you? Oh. He's a beggar, but you give hearts instead of money. I probably should have guessed that based on the fact that he's holding a sign that, that has half a heart on it. Um, yeah. I don't think I'm going to do that. Hopefully I can recharge my... A missing page. Wow, there are like five different trinkets I can choose from. Well, I guess I'm not going to be able to recharge my soul heart. That kind of sucks. Kill him. Yeah, good idea. Bad idea. Uh, I think I'll hold on to the Ace of Spades. That sounds pretty good. No information about a missing page. Oh, Chanticleer, welcome. Haven't seen you in a while. Alright, let's see if Mom is any more difficult now that I have the expansion. Shit. Well, I do have nine lives. So even if I die, it's not the end of the world. Alright, well, that wasn't too bad. They make mom's foot harder to dodge. Well, my damage is now fully maxed out. Very nice. Oh yeah, I can use the prayer card. Awesome. Too bad I can't go for the health. Go back for the health, but uh, that's good enough. Well, I guess I could if I use the telepills. Eh, why not? You know, I've never actually teleported out of Mon's room before, after I beat her. Hopefully that doesn't mean I have to fight her again or something. I would be, I would be pretty pissed off if that was the case. Nope. I can just come and, come and go as I please. Alright, well, I suppose I'm done here. On to the womb. Or whatever the alternate version of the womb is. Nope, just the womb. For now. Ah, oh, how convenient. Now one thing about these red blocks that I wasn't aware of until recently is that some of them can contain items like the X block, but they're not actually marked when you're in the womb. They just, they look like all, all the rest. They look like all the other red blocks. So if you have a lot of bombs, it's a good idea to bomb as many of the red blocks as you can. Because there's a good chance of getting items out of it. Welcome to the chat room, Grodnod. Glad you can make it. Welcome. Oops. I used my Wordle card by mistake. Which, that's actually pretty good. It just shows me the map. So I know exactly where the secret room is, and I know exactly how to go directly to the boss. Ooh. 99 bombs. I had 99 problems, but a bomb ain't one. Oh, fuck you. Alright, uh, that's actually pretty helpful in the womb. Because I can just go around bombing blocks with impunity now. We're bombing enemies. For that matter.
Oh, fuck. Can he? Can the little meat boy push bombs? I didn't think he could. Can the eye push bombs around? Is that what happened? Yes, the eye does it. Okay. Well, good that I discovered that now, instead of discovering it when I'm at half a heart. I don't need to fight these guys, but why the hell not, you know? I can get whatever the re reward for actually beating the room is. Oh shit! Dude just spawned right on top of me. I use my lover's card just in case. Well, it's a new kind of pill. And it's just diarrhea pills. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, well, that could have gone worse. I probably. I shouldn't have taken my chances actually fighting that room. I need to not get cocky now. See, I get all this awesome stuff. And I. I feel like I'm invincible. Although I, I'm really not. I haven't noticed any effect from these. Oh, right. They say that the Ace of Spades gives you a, gives you a soul heart when you're at half a heart. Huh. That's weird. Oh. Uh, apparently, I hit Q by mistake. I'm I'm on this old shitty keyboard. This is my go keyboard. The Space Barana died. And the shift key sticks, and the keys are like way too close together, and it's just not good for anybody. So I'm accidentally, I'm accidentally hitting buttons all the time. All right, well, that. And all kinds of money I can't use. Well, I got a wheel of fortune, so I can use it now. Uh, yeah, no point in wasting too much time on that. Wow, me boy just owned Larry Jr. The Joker. Wow, it's a new kind of card. Like an actual activated card. Not a, uh, not another trinket or an item. The Fallen. This boss kind of sucks. I'm not gonna lie. I just used my Joker card and it teleported me here. Sacred Heart. Space to use. But it didn't replace my prayer card. Do I have another item that space can activate? Huh. Well, I'll wait until I'm fighting the boss and... See what happens when I hit space. That was pretty on. Glitch? Yeah, possibly. Yeah, space isn't doing anything. Whoa! Look at the size of my tears. I guess the Sacred Heart mu must have uh, must have displayed this, the press space to activate message when it's not an actual activated item. Spirit of the Night, scary. Well, that went pretty well. Well, one more level. Let's see if it's the cool new version of the womb. Nope, just the womb. Of course, there might be something after the womb now, for all I know. Another reason not to get overconfident. I can find myself—I could find myself beating mom's heart, and there's 
a completely new area of the uh, of the game to explore. Jesus. And no keys. But I should go on ahead and blow these blocks just in case. I haven't been doing that regularly. I mean, there's no reason not to since I have so many bombs. I just have to be careful not to let the eye push the bombs into me. Spirit of the Night is entirely useless with my items. Oh well. <laughs> I walk into a room and stuff just starts dying. I love it. Oh shit. Fish head? Undefined. Okay. Well, uh, let's hold on to that and see what that does, I guess. I wonder if it's actually supposed to be called undefined or if that's a glitch. Like, they, they forgot to put a name for that item or something. I mean, the expansion just came out, so I imagine there are going to be glitches. Meat Boy is very awesome, actually. Yeah, I mean, he's good. I just didn't realize that he could push bombs, and it kind of screwed me once. Of course, that was Super Meat Boy. I just have regular Meat Boy now. Uh, I don't think I'm going to go in there. I think it would get rid of my white heart if I actually went in there, since the white heart counts as normal health. There are a lot of flying items in the expansion. Well, good, because flying is by far my favorite ability in the game. And still no keys. Bummer. Let's blow up some more of these blocks. Just in case. Apparently the item is supposed to be called undefined, and nobody knows what it does. According to Ultra Kirby 64. Well, maybe I will find out what it does. New pills? Full health. Too bad I was already pretty much at full health when I got that. Keen versus Super Lust. Wow. Okay. More speed? Oh. Wonder if I can actually. Yeah. See, normally I wouldn't be able to enter this room unless I was at half a heart. At least that's the theory. But since I can fly, I can just go right through the door. Tick. Uh, you know what? I'm out of here. I would have gotten the rest of that stuff, but I really don't want to risk it at this point. I did get another full health pill, though. Which is very nice. I would definitely hold on to that. Oh, I can use my, uh... Oh, I thought there was still an enemy somewhere since it was still playing the music. That's just that's just a glitch since I left that room though. I guess I should get that key since it's just laying there. Oh yeah, I can just leave and come back in the room and all the items are gone. And now I can open this chest. And I can go and open one of these other chests. And now I can open the last chest that I still that I couldn't open before. Man, I am just made of luck today. Look at all the stuff. All right. Um, 
I guess I should start looking around for secret rooms too. Since I haven't gotten the secret room on this floor yet. There we go. Uh, just a slot machine. I mean, I could play around with it since I have all this money, but I'm not going to waste the time. I'm just going to blow it up. Alright. Gotta be getting pretty close to the boss, I'd say. I hope I get the exit to Sheol in this playthrough, since I'm pretty tricked out at the moment. Uh, alright, well, I guess I'm just going to fight the boss. Now, this actually isn't going to be Mom's Heart. Someone in the chat room reminded me, since I've beaten the game nine times, it's going to be They Live, which is the new updated version of the boss, which I haven't seen yet. So, this will be new f for, uh, well, I mean, this boss will be new to me, and if there's anything after it, it should be new to everyone else here. Since it'll be expansion content. Alright, well, let's go. It's like a much more disturbing version of the heart. Oh, that wasn't too difficult. <laughs> I was panicking over nothing. It's actually you and her heart. Yeah, that's the disturbing part. Welcome to the chat room, Futago. I'm sorry you're coming in just as I beat the game. Uh, well, it's a big chest, so I guess there's nothing after. After it lives. <laughs> Alright, well that must be the question mark, question mark, question mark character that everyone told me about. Wow, this is some fucked up music. Oh, Oxbow, I didn't even notice you were here. Sorry I didn't welcome you. Duke, don't you think it's a little bit easy than before? Well, not really, since I died twice before I beat the game. And when I did beat the game, I had a really ridiculous, lucky set of items. A poop has appeared in the basement. I unlocked question mark question mark question mark WTF So I can now play as this guy His item is the poop and he starts with minus 1 hearts which mean I'm which means I'm probably never going to use him From my understanding all the poop does is it spawns just a normal poop in the room and that's it That's all it does so yeah, he's kind of the joke character of the game. And didn't unlock Samson, unfortunately, since I didn't pass two treasure rooms. Anyone know what's special about the new character? Yeah, I don't know anything about him. Alright, well, this has been uh, The Binding of Isaac, The Wrath of the Lamb. Uh, if you enjoyed the stream, uh, please follow me on Twitch. Uh, and follow me on Twitter and Facebook if you use either of those services. Uh, you can go to facebook.com slash duke of the bump or twitter.com slash duke lps 
and follow me on YouTube. Uh, there's the link in the info down there. And uh, buy Binding of Isaac and Wrath of the Lamb because this game is super fun and you can get both of them for just five dollars right now. Uh, I'm not sure when the next stream will be since I am technically still on vacation. Uh, just watch the uh, watch the Twitter or Facebook or whatever for updates. But it, it won't be too long until the next stream. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.